Whew, that was a crazy ride. Antonio, I thought you knew how to fly an aeroplane. Ha ha, very funny. I'd like to see you try to fly. We all made it here in one piece, so knock it off. And let's focus on helping V find her mom, okay? Welcome to McMurdo. We don't usually have such young visitors. Which research team are you part of? I'm V. I spoke with you on the phone a couple days ago. I'm here to check on my mother. I had a bad feeling when I got off the phone with you, so my friends, Ad Antonio, Henny, and I, came to see if there was anything we can do to help. We were able to find some satellite footage of what happened with the station. Here, take a look. Oh no, I thought you said everyone was okay. That doesn't look particularly okay. What happened to the people working there? No need to worry, dears. There are evacuation plans in place for this type of thing. In the satellite footage, we could see that several boats made it out of Whaler's Bay safely. But what about my mom? Where did the boats go? Well, that is the bad news. Although we see the boats have safely left Whaler's Bay, they have all gone to different continents, and we do not know who is specifically on which boat. It's safety protocol. Your mother could be in Africa, South America, or Australia. What kind of safety protocol is that? That doesn't even make sense. Now that we know our scientists are safe somewhere, we need to get a new station up and running ASAP so that we can finish the research. I know, if we don't get this set up quickly, all the research at the old facility will be for nothing. But where are we going to set up the station? We have to find a spot-on sedimentary rock instead of the ice or unpacked snow so that we don't have another disaster like this again. The only issue is, with the big snowstorm, all of the land is covered in so much snow that we can't tell where the sedimentary rock actually is. I couldn't help but overhear your issue. In our earth science class, we learned about these tools that were used to measure density of rocks and minerals. Oh yeah, I remember that class. Maybe you can use something like that to scan the ground for density so that you know where the rock is versus the ice? Great idea, kids. Do you think you could help us with creating a tool like that? What do you think, V? Do we have time to stop and help? I think my mom would want us to help. Let's see what our tech support can do. In order for the scientists to be able to successfully continue V's mom's research, they must be able to build a new station on sedimentary rock so it has a stable foundation. Your task is to create a program that rounds each density sample to the nearest hundreds place, then uses conditional statements to identify the samples as types of sedimentary rock or unpacked snow in order to analyze the data and identify safe areas to rebuild the station. 